In the last video, we were discussing some of the incongruities between consciousness and the brain. We were also talking about meaning and purpose. How do we actually know if there is a meaning or purpose to life? Because many people will say, I make the meaning of my own life. And the thing that goes through my mind is, why would you have to make a meaning if you already had one? And so, I would like to propose, since I used to be an atheist, and now am a Christian, I believe that there is a God who made us with a reason. And I believe if we cooperate with that reason and help achieve it, there will be rewards. However, there will also be consequences for failing to achieve it or being an obstacle, a detriment, a disruption to it. So it's pretty important to know if there's a God and what his purpose is. Now, I understand many of my audience, much of my audience are atheists. And, uh, I understand that if you disagree with the things I say, I was in your shoes. So I'm trying to reason with you where you're at. And if you disagree, and you're certainly allowed to, I respect, I respect that. Because I, I was there. I know what it's like. And um, I just, I want you guys to think about the things that I say, even if you don't agree. And uh, that's really why I'm here. I'm here because I am thoroughly convinced that there is a reason and a purpose. And I'd like to share the reasons that I believe that and continue to believe that. Now, if you ask an atheist who believes we evolved, now I know there are believers in God who believe we evolved, they're not the ones I'm talking about right now. If you're an atheist and you believe we evolved, I have two major problems. Number one, if you believe we evolved and that the laws of nature are absolute and that there is no God, then you must believe that we are obeying the laws of nature, both in body and mind. You believe consciousness is equivalent to the brain. And the brain, which is made of matter, obeys the laws of nature. Which means the laws of nature dictate everything we think, say, and do. So you can't really say anything, or any one, is right or wrong. Sim simply because the laws of nature are never right or wrong. When a, you know, a rock falls off a canyon, or when water goes over a waterfall, you don't say nature is good or bad, you just say, it is. And so we would be. No different if our brains and consciousness are just obeying the laws of nature. The laws of nature would be the cause of everything we do. So if you ever want to say this person is good or bad, they did right or wrong, well, they couldn't have done otherwise, since their brain is obeying the laws of nature, and to violate the laws of nature would be a miracle, supernatural, metaphysical, and you, you wouldn't want to admit to that. Uh, you certainly don't believe in things like that. And so, if you want to believe in choice, you'd have to believe that the mind can control matter. You'd need a mind over matter. If the mind is simply obeying the laws of nature because it's made of matter, I don't see how there could be a choice. How could they... how could you do otherwise? That's my first concern. My second concern is this. If you ask an atheist, why, why do people believe in God within atheism? Why, in, if there is no God, why would people in the world believe in God? And they would say something like this, that it is a vestige of our evolutionary history. That people, as we were emerging out of the animal kingdom, they began to explain things by inventing gods. But since we have now invented science and are discovering things, we can shed those old beliefs. And anyone who believes in God still is either not as evolved, or they're stupid, or they're, thw they're thwarting intellectual and evolutionary processes. Now, let's say that was true. Let's grant them that for a moment. Isn't morality, just like the belief in God, isn't that a social, uh, cultural phenomenon that evolved over time? Because if you ask a fish, hey, do you think it's wrong to, uh, to murder, or do you think it's wrong to steal or lie? The fish would say... So, if evolution is a changing process, and we changed such that we became believers in God and believers in morality, it occurs to me the same people who will say you're stupid for believing in God will also turn around and point a finger at you and say you're wrong for doing this, that, or the other. When isn't morality also a vestige of our evolutionary history? Aren't we beyond that now, now that we look back and understand where it came from? Can't we transcend it since we know that it's just an illusion, essentially? Sure, it may help us survive, just like belief in God helped other people to survive, but we're beyond that now, now that we know all about it and where it came from, right? I don't see how an atheist can accuse anyone of right or wrong because, number one, within the laws of nature, if everything is dictated by the laws of nature, they couldn't have done otherwise. 
And number two, where, where are you getting a standard of right and wrong? Where'd you get this idea of right and wrong if it's just an evolved thing, just like belief in God? And yet, it's the same people who believe in evolution and atheism. They're the same people who will turn around and point their finger at you and say, you're bad for doing this, which sounds a lot like thou shall not do this, thou shall not lie, thou shall not steal, thou shall not murder. And they know where that comes from. And they don't like that one bit. So the next time, if you're an atheist, you find yourself pointing a finger at someone, saying, thou shall not. Now you know where it comes from. Or, or you can just get rid of it entirely. So I don't want to see any more of your fingers. I was thinking how to end this video. I'm going to end it by having atheists prove their commitment to moral absolutes, thereby proving the existence of God. Now, every clip I'm about to use will be an atheist actually making a video about me, so at least it's related. Enjoy. You can't know the meaning of life until you done this, done that, done it right, done it wrong, done it good, done it bad. But sure. Don't call me a sinner. Don't call that person a sinner, that person a sinner, yourself a sinner, and the ugly one in the back a sinner. Because I don't believe in such a thing. Nobody's a sinner. They do what's right, they do what's wrong, and then we die. And then we're in the ground. That's it. Oh, I see how this works. So, tell people to do right and not to do wrong, but if they do wrong, they're not a sinner, even though the definition of sin is doing wrong. Have as much fun as you can. Try to be on the straight and narrow. We all know right and wrong. This guy sounds like a Christian. That Sean is a, is a liar. Thou shall not lie. No integrity, no honor. You know, it is wrong to lie. Thank you for confirming a moral absolute. Thus saith the Lord, thou shall not lie. Now, if I've told a lie in the past, I apologize. I don't see lying as a good thing, and I try not to. Now, have I lied in the past? I'm not going to say I've never lied before. I think I'm honest enough to say that. And I don't see lying as a good thing. Problem is, if you're an atheist and you're pointing a finger at someone saying, you're a liar, have you ever told a lie? You know, you're justifying the day when God finally judges you and points the finger right back in your face. You're saying, yes, this is wrong. You're confirming what the Bible says, that God's law is written in our hearts, that we know right from wrong. We all know right and wrong. The atheists couldn't have said it better. However, within atheism, you can't justify it. There's no reason to point a finger. Why do you care? How could they have done otherwise? But thank you, atheists, all of you out there who have helped make a case for the existence of God. Sean, you are everything that is wrong with the world today. Well, if I'm everything that's wrong with the world, that must mean there's a right. And that proves what the Bible says, that God made the world right, and through man's disobedience, by doing what is wrong, the world became bad. Now, we can only have a choice if, again, our minds transcend the laws of nature. If the laws of nature are making us do everything, then things could not be otherwise. So there is no right world or wrong world, there just is. Hey, you suck. F*** you. Ha, pwned. Lie to people when you say that you love them when you don't. You just love their money. Understand, we will never let you get away with it again. And that so help me God is the truth. While it's true there are things we should not do, thou shall not lie, thou shall not steal, God also has a few things for us to do. When Jesus came, he met a lot of people who were upholding the law and wanted to really get vengeance on people who broke the law. And what Jesus said was, the heart of the law is mercy. The reason God doesn't want us lying to each other or stealing from each other is because God loves us. And he doesn't want us hurting each other. And so when we do wrong, God wants us to forgive each other so that we can be restored to fellowship. And that's something the atheists, particularly here on YouTube, totally don't understand. They affirm all these things. Don't lie, don't steal, don't murder. But they miss the whole point of those laws. The laws are for love, for the love for humanity. These people on YouTube villainize me. They treat me like an enemy. 
when I'm here because I'm trying to help them see that God loves them, that right and wrong is not an evolutionary accident. It's not something that developed over time. There is a God. He's going to judge you one day, but he wants to save you because we've all done these, we've all done these things. We've all done wrong. Okay? So we need forgiveness from each other, more importantly, from God. I just, it breaks my heart seeing this. They're so quick to judge, so slow to forgive, all because they hate God. So if they can discredit the messenger, they feel comfortable in denying him. The guy's a liar and a thief. So, you know, nothing he says really means anything. I'm sorry, friends. That's just not going to cut it on the Day of Judgment.